Crikey Moses, it's getting hot in here. I need to take all my... Oh, hello. Welcome back to the Technos Corner. I'm glad I didn't finish that line. But with that being said, it is getting a bit hot, hot, hot in here. And that's due to the fact that summer is finally kicking in, in outside of Melbourne, Australia. That being said, I know you guys are here for a specific reason. I don't, I don't clickbait my, my stuff. And with that being said, you're either here to hear the trials and tribulations in relation to this machine I've got right here, and or perhaps you're interested in acquiring one yourself. It's a good time now to look at this model specifically. But with that being said, what am I talking about? Well, let's get stuck right on into today's product review, essentially, as I've somewhat had a liking to this item and thought it worthwhile noting on the channel especially now that you may be looking for something of its caliber to perhaps for the youngins in relation to going back to school and performing at the best of their ability or something that is portable enough for you all for your own personal use as well so let's get stuck right on into the today's i guess it's a review slash tech consult in some way so let's go Look, it looks like it's a, a little booklet, but I assure you guys, it is a device of some sort. And you know me, I'm the uh, PC guru, self-proclaimed now, I guess, so probably going to jinx myself in some way, shape or form. But let's pop this down over here for the time being, and we'll get into it. Because, yeah, why was the tablet feeling depressed? Well, because it was feeling too surfacey and... With that being said, that leads us into today's item on the menu and the significance of what is the Microsoft Surface Pro 7. And I guess we're going to discuss its specifications in relation to perhaps a comparison with other similar devices that you all may be looking for to aid in your businesses or aid in the youngings, perhaps going back to school. We're going to look at the comparison in relation to the specs this has, so you know what to expect with the Surface Pro 7, as well as what is different from previous models, other both new and older Surface Pro machines. So this, or Kelly Dogley, does have like a cover and whatnot, and it just, as you can see how thin they are, very, very nice. Actually came into my, um, came into my possession I will turn it on. So this came into my possession because there was a problem with it and I'm currently just finished fixing it and reinstalling Windows and whatnot. So yeah, it's, it's running Schmitten and I've, like I said, uh, developed a liking to it. They probably are popping up still new for approximately the Surface Pro 7 that is for approximately 700 or so odd Australian dollars and even better used upwards of half that price at the very least if you are savvy enough and in my opinion with recent experience as i still got it today i'm um, probably today's experience as well they're great little machines for anyone that values portability coupled with enough performance as well as a bit of pizzazz or class as these to myself at least seems like stylish little mini machines so the microsoft service pro 7 is a two-in-one device, meaning it can be used as both a laptop and a tablet. It has a 12.3-inch touchscreen display and runs on the Windows 10 operating system. The device is powered by a 10th generation Intel Core processor, which is really schmitten in that regards, and is available with up to, up to 16 gigabytes of RAM memory and one terabyte SSD or 1000 gigabytes of storage capacity. Now, depending on the variance that you get and the models, that would dictate what's in the machine per se. And just on a side note though, the Surface Pro 7 can't have the ability of expanding that memory, both the RAM and the storage itself. It's locked in to what it is when you purchase it. If you're after something that has the ability of expandable memory, where you may get just the base form 
factor of one of those machines you have to start from the surface pro 7 plus people so that's something to look into but with a detachable keyboard as well and support for a stylus input pen also you know it's it's a decent decent little machine that won't break the bank and can really help propel the young ends in relation to their ability to perform on the tech space scene at school as well and you know they're they're not heavy devices as well so bring them back and forward it's not going to be a, a cumbersome thing for the kids also if they have to depending on how they travel to and fro from school but not getting off the beaten track you know the surface pro 7 itself this one here has a usb-c port and a usb-a port and a surface connect port as well and it supports both wi-fi 6 and uh let's get into another visual and it supports both wi-fi 6 and bluetooth 5.0 so you know if you are sort of got like a business where you're going around a lot and you need a bit of horsepower under the under the belt as well this is an cumbersome device and it's more practical than other devices i probably say of a similar class and spectrum okay one of the main features of a surface pro 7 is its versatility of course as i've been trying to uh infuse on you all it can be used as a traditional laptop with a keyboard or as a tablet for drawing or taking notes it also has a built-in kickstand so you can easily prop it up on a table or desk in terms of comparison with other similar devices the surface pro 7 is similar to the ipad pro and the samsung galaxy tab s7 in terms of features and performance however the surface pro 7 runs on a full version of the windows operating system and as mentioned number 10 which allows you to use a wider range of software and applications and just on the side note y'all it's also upgradable to windows 11 as well it has a premium build quality and a wide range of accessories available such as the surface pro pen as mentioned and type cover however on a side note it is also more expensive than many other two-in-one laptops on the market if you were to be buying them outright new completely decked out and perhaps some of the newer versions you will notice are probably out of reach before the reasonings that i've been mentioning that this device surface pro 7 may be valuable to you it won't be breaking the bank currently if you pick them up and are savvy enough while doing so in the process just on a comparison to older surface pro devices if you're looking at something even cheaper still like the six perhaps five or fours the surface pro 7 has a more powerful processor and support for faster wi-fi standards and in relation to its performance i wouldn't go any less than this currently for today's day and age applications and whatnot for effective use at the very least otherwise it may get a little sluggish this is the base version okay this is only a four gigabyte variant okay it's only got four gigabytes of memory it's only got a 128 gigabytes of storage and the way the processor handles things it's running very very schmitten okay you, you don't want to overload it but with that being said for the general purpose use of what you need it for when you're on the move it isn't going to replace your desktop pc by any means but it is very well placed in position to be very very effective piece of your hardware i'd have to say wherever the use case for you guys will be the Surface Pro 7, as apart from its elder counterparts as well, has faster Wi-Fi standards. It also has that USB-C port, which is newer, more versatile port than the mini display port found on older Surface Pro devices. Okay, guys, it's thinner, it's lighter, the design, and it supports for faster charging also. Yeah, with that being said, guys, you can see it's just turned itself off there i'll bring it back to live very very clean little device so if we bring it in here essentially so i've set this up um very on a, on a light version of windows for the for the gentleman look at that look it's it's a gorgeous little thing so i'll turn it off so i'm just turning it off just to handle it so as you can see you've got this little part here that pops up and it's part of the actual unit itself very flexible and we'll hold it on that perfect angle for you all. 
on the side here, it's got both the USB-C, the USB-A port, as well as where the charging port specific, which was the uh, proprietary port in relation to the Surface Pro here. Okay, I believe it can handle uh, miniature SSD cards, this port also, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it seems to also have a jack port here for listening devices also. And it's got enough gustro in relation to being able to output sound as well the on button there apart from that very stylish and minimalistic in its approach and it's got the volume up and down knobs as well you can of course detach the keyboard also and if you pop that on its side like so it becomes what is essentially without the keyboard you may have your little stylus per se and or pen or whatnot and yeah you just go to town on it drawing doing what you may uh, I don't know what kids like doing, you know, little like uh, W signs and two uh, inverted brackets. And that's a drawing for me in my eyes. But, you know, like it's it's literally a nice tablet as well. So for business wise, you can have those, you know, you can get those emails sent out and whatnot. And here, sir, can you sign this, please? And yeah, there's your item. And then, you know, if you need a bit more horsepower and whatnot, bang, you pop that back on it and it's just ready to go like that as easy as one two one two three you know guys so it's a beautiful little product and just on a side note okay like i said surface c okay if you guys uh just to elaborate on that joke a little earlier i'm not saying anyone's like too dim-witted to understand but it was a joke about the tablet feeling depressed. So it was a play on words using the word surface, both in the sense of surface of the tablet and in the sense of a superficial or shallow emotion. The punchline of a joke because it was feeling too surfacey. I was meant to suggest that the tablet was experiencing a shallow or superficial form of depression, perhaps because it was not being used to its full potential or was just not being fully appreciated so with that being said guys i appreciate your company today on the way out please hit that like and subscribe button it's a free way to show your support and i appreciate it wholeheartedly my name's been seb luca thanks for joining me at the technus corner and peace out y'all bye